Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. But kings can be removed. Kings, queens, they can be removed. Only by force. The majority of time that they are, oh, absolutely by force. <laughs> That's the I only mean, way to remove by force. You don't change. You don't change the ruler of uh, of of any land or any country or you know whatever it is. If he's not willing to step down, then it's going to be force. So well, absolutely. but that's exactly what democracy doesn't have a problem with. That's the, that's the big difference between democracy and, and, and a totalitarian state. Because in a democracy, well, one that's actually working is democracy, there is, me- there is a methodology built in, mm-hmm. a legal system, a rule of law that accounts for that. And that's why it's, it's a superior system to a monarchy. Because a monarchy forces you to come down to whoever has the most guns wins at all times. You know, and, and I think that's exactly the lesson that I think they didn't learn. That's why I made that point about the monarchy and the fact that they went right back to it, even though we came back and bit them in the ass so badly with hmm. Killmonger. But can I right. can right. I add to that? Because I think um, the fact – what I liked about the movie um, and the way that they depicted Wakanda is – Remember that this this all right. We, we're looking at it. It's obviously a fantasy um, film, so I'm looking at it right. from that perspective. But the the concept is that you're dealing with an African nation that was unconquered by the European. So it doesn't it make sense that as technologically advanced that they are, they still had aspects of that traditional African culture. Right. So the fact that they were a monarchy with a king, that doesn't that's not really shocking to me, but I know, I know that that's not the point you're making, Eric, cuz you're saying at some point if you see that this isn't going to work, you got to change it. I agree 1000%. By the way. <laughs> cuz what he's saying, what he's saying about monarchy is the same thing that I've been saying um about it that is just a bad form of governance. But one of the things that 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 I want to touch on, I know we haven't I'm kind of getting ahead, Ronnie. You can tell me if it's all right. No, you good. Go ahead, brother. Keep, keep going. Yeah. The reason why, like, um, first, like the Killmonger thing, and this is just my perspective. I don't think that Killmonger was right in the sense. When I say that he was right, what I mean is that he was justified in in his method and his reasoning behind what he was doing was based on um, legitimacy. He was right in that sense. Mm-hmm. Um, but in terms of like I, I, the way I go, where I was challenging people online is that they were calling him a hero and trying to re- make it seem like he was some man of the people. Look, like, come on, let's, that's like saying Scarface is the perfect um, example of how to run a successful empire. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly not. You know, he he wasn't a man of the people. If he was a man of the people, how come he had the cart shaped herb? Like that was the funniest part in the movie, by the yep. way. Yeah. When, um, he after he came from the um, ancestor realm, and they gave him the um, the herb. She said, "Oh, this is this is for the next king." He said, "Next king, you can burn that shit, <laughs> all of it." <laughs> <laughs> so he was hardly a man of the people. He wanted to keep power and hold power. Right. Well, you see, and also Martin, launching I'll, I'll a worldwide. Also, launching a worldwide assault on every government in the world strategically I wouldn't have been the way that I would have went. That's just me. Well, he, he's coming in. You know, so I, I don't want to – so, but my thing is – and I temper that whole commentary with this. I thought the character was wonderful. Like for the movie, I loved that character. But I love Scarface too. I love when he was talking to Sosa and Sosa was cursing him out on the phone and he started flipping out. I loved that. Loved it. But that don't mean he's a fucking hero. He's a no, great he's, character he's, for the screen, you know. But I think, like, I I, I tend to like shy away from because I notice that a lot of people, and y'all might agree with this, um, who haven't read the comics and who are not familiar with the source material, are taking this and and trying to 
apply this to a real real world applications, and I'm kind of yeah with that because I I tell you from my perspective, I only saw this movie as um the movie that's the last movie before Infinity War, which is the bigger story arc. You know, that's the way I see it. Like, I never, I, there are certain aspects, you know, and things that people take away from it that I think are positive. But overall, at the end of the day, this is one story and a bigger story. And everything that happens in it, you know, leads to what happens in the next story. And the big story is their big 10 year anniversary when they get to fight Thanos. And that's what this is all about. You know, mm-hmm. so let's not get distracted and try to, like, Wakanda is, you know, people are applying, like, you know, say, oh, he opened, he went to the U.N., so that means the white man's going to take over Wakanda. Um, See, if you knew anything <laughs> about the comic books, you would realize that Wakanda is the most technologically advanced nation in the world. It's just that nobody knows about it. So, in essence, they're the true superpower of the globe. White man ain't right. taking over shit. That's why at the end when, when Captain America in the Civil War, when he said, you know, if they, if they know that Bucky is here, they might, they're going to come from him. And what does T'Challa say? Let them try. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So nobody's taken over Wakanda. And as a matter of fact, it, I don't know why they think that Wakanda just giving away vibranium to the world. If you read anything about the Wakandans, they're very distrustful people. Yep. That's that why they just turn around oh. after two days. They wanted and war they got, but they will to in the heat with my 